An exciting new activity was kicked off last April at ELC Europe from the Health Benefits Assessment of Food Task Force. It asks the question to find out what are the health benefits of the modulation of polyphenols by the gut microbiome and vice versa. Before entering in detail of the activity, we invited Professor Daniele De Rio, one of the experts in this activity. Uh, welcome, Daniele, and thank you for taking the time to join this activity. Let me ask you this. Polyphenols are often mentioned when speaking about healthy food, but what are they exactly and why are they important for our diet? Well, you know, polyphenols uh, are a, a wide class of compounds. Actually, if you check the literature every day, I would say there's some group around the world identifying a new one. They're pleasant, uh, present in plants, uh, pretty much in every plant, then every plant has a specific profile and uh, they can be considered plant secondary metabolites. So plants are actually producing these compounds for their own physiological reasons, sometimes for uh, defense, uh, sometimes uh, for you know, uh, growing in harsh conditions, uh, and, uh, and they produce more or less depending on the condition they're growing. So until some years ago, well, we thought that polyphenols were only useful for, for plants, but actually uh, it looks like they might also be useful for humans. So why are uh, polyphenols then important for our diet? Uh, well, some years ago, I would say 25, 30 years ago, people started to uh, uh, measure polyphenols in foods. So we started knowing how much uh, of this set of compounds was present in every individual's foods, which helped understanding how much polyphenols we were actually consuming through the diet. And of course, the, the step after this is to try to understand if that people consuming, if people consuming more polyphenols were actually also uh, getting any advantage out of this. And it turned out that they were. So uh, epidemiologically, uh, we've demonstrated that uh, uh, you're exposed to a lower risk of many chronic diseases, in particular cardiovascular disease, but many others, uh, if you are uh, consuming more polyphenols through your diet. And, uh, and this is now proven. Then, of course, the, again, following step is to understand how this happens and what is the molecular pathways, the molecular mechanisms through which these compounds can actually act inside your body. And, uh, and this has actually evolved uh, within the scientific world and in the literature a lot. We're not getting to the final point, but I think part of the um, target of this expert group is actually trying to collect and collate all the evidence that tries to understand how this happens. And one of the uh, most recent uh, evidence is that this happens through the interaction of polyphenols with the gut microbiota, which is actually the real topic of the expert group work. And you're gonna hear from uh, a lot of other colleagues in the same expert group that I am in about how these polyphenols can interact with the gut microbiota in a bidirectional way, and how metabolites produced through this interaction are mainly the, the, the main responsible for the potential health effects of this interesting class of compounds. And you're also gonna hear about what are the foods that are richest in polyphenols uh, and why and how you should consume more. And if this is true, because of course, everything in nutrition needs to be evidence-based, which is not always uh, the case. If you want to know more about ILC Europe, go to www.ilc.eu and follow us on social media. If you wish to know more about the health benefits assessment of Task Force and its activities, stay tuned for more video or get directly in touch with us.